Hello again, this is Pastor Taylor from St. John's Lutheran Church in Buffalo, and we're continuing our study of the Gospel of John, chapter 19, Jesus on the Cross. Now the year is 30 AD, and it's 3 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. In a minor kingdom in the Middle East, on a dirt road outside the capital of Jerusalem, we witness a sad execution. A man is nailed to a cross between two other prisoners, also suffering on their crosses. His mom, Mary, and his beloved friend, John, are at the foot of the cross. Soldiers are milling about, wanting this to get over quickly. There's a festival in town, and they probably want to get to it. Jesus said seven things on the cross. But the last thing he said was probably the most remarkable. In verse 1930, Jesus says in Aramaic with his last breath, Tetelethai, Tetelethai, which means it is finished. And then the Bible says that he then bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Now, to most of the crowd, this was a strange thing for someone to say for their last words. It was a Hebrew business term that people used when they were buying and selling things and maybe haggling over a price. And when the seller finally agreed to the price, he would say, done. To Telethai, it is finished. The price has been paid in full. What was it that was paid for? Well, it says in 1 Timothy 1.15, Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners, of whom I am the very worst. Jesus paid a debt beyond comparison, beyond our means. And at the foot of cross, we too kneel down close to his mom, Mary, and friend, John. Jesus is God, the creator of all things. And scripture tells us that after Jesus gives up his spirit, the sky goes from gray to dark, and the land trembles, and earthquakes happen, graves open up, and the dead walk among us. God has felt our pain as reflected in nature, that he suffered for our sin, and yet he did not give up on us, and he came down for a purpose, to save us all from ourselves. We learn from this that tough times do come and go, but the love of Jesus is now and will be forever. You are loved by God this Easter season, 2020.